Okay, hello everyone. This is Virtual Farmer Ken Bob again. As you can tell, we are driving back. I don't know if you remember, we were doing a contract on fertilizer. We're working our way back from the field. And sorry, I had to stop and take care of something there real quick. It looks like our mower is almost done cutting the grass over there. A couple more passes left, and then we'll have to get out there and bale it. So we're getting close on that, which is good. We're going to stop in right here since we got a trailer full of fertilizer. And these little tanks here, I'm getting ready to... Well, I'll just go ahead and do it now. That way I can kind of show the progress of what I'm going on what I'm doing along through here but go into our construction mode silos and there's a five thousand dollar silo I think that's it right there yeah that's it all right hit so we'll hit C The only thing I don't like is in order to see one angle you have to take it away from another angle and I don't I don't like that but I mean I guess that's the only way really to do it can't see more than one thing at a time uh, go the right way here okay I think I'm lined up straight wise and I just got to put it in the center I always try to get the whole silo itself on the concrete or dirt or whatever this is and it looks like right there, the, that building in the back is right on the grass line. That's what it looks like to me. And I hope that's correct. But that's one of those things I wish I could just place it here and look at it and then confirm. You know, give me a give me some kind of way to place it and turn around and look and make sure, you know, make sure I like the lineup and then confirm it and, you know, do that right there. But in this, I mean, there's not even an undo button, which I, I just, I've never seen a game where you don't have an undo option. But to me, that looks like it's right where I want it to be. Now, we've got seeds in this bin. And I think that's the only thing in that bin is seed. Or silo, sorry. And then this one here is a solid fertilizer. You may wonder, well, you just went and bought fertilizer and that's what we have in here. Well, we have a fertilizer uh, silo right here also. So what I can do is I can put it in there or I can put, you know, it's only going to take so much and then it's going to be full. Whereas this right here, you know, it'll take up to 5 million liters. Maybe a little unrealistic, but, you know, I... When looking for options for storage, you know, in real life, you've got places you can go and store stuff if you can't store it on your own farm. I thought I hit the brake. There we go. But on this, on the game, you know, storage options aren't always uh, easy. Or at least they aren't for me, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just make it difficult. <laughs> Which, I wouldn't be surprised you know, if that's the way it looks. But anyways, uh, now this is something, you know, I'm going to, I probably won't do this on camera that much because there's just an element to the gameplay that, you know, this is kind of boring, but 
this is about the only way I know of to empty these is to bring them over here and raise them in the air. I wish I could just leave them on the ground, but then they stop unloading. So you kind of have to raise them up a little bit. And I hate to go and buy a loader just to bring it over here, but I mean, there's there's some cheap options. But anyhow, that's uh that's what I do with the trailer whenever I'm or my spreader. That's how I take care of that whenever I'm done with a certain type of product. But now we need to go and fill this up with that line we had sitting um, back at the shop. You can see we got us another tractor trailer with a couple trailers. Oh! <laughs> Gets looking the wrong way and then end up running into a fence. That's just awesome. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, it's the big bags that are the lime. And of course this trailer takes the fill point from the back of the trailer, so we'll slide up way up here. Yeah, good, we're getting lime. Oh yeah, they're 8,000 liters, so we don't even have to keep hitting the button every every 2,000 liters. I'm going to go in here real quick and uh, see farmland. As you can see, we do not own anything on the map. But what I'm going to do is go up here, and the good thing about this is you can buy or lease. And what I do is I go through and look at the cost, and if there's anything I can actually buy, uh, I go ahead and uh, do that. But I don't see any little straggler pieces like there was on the extreme map. There was one that was like a little small section. It was only $40,000 or something like that. The smallest section on this map, if you look, the smallest section is going to be field 25, well, it land area 25. I think the actual field is, whoops, oh, I want it, let me get rid of that, there we go. That's actually field 21. And on the farmland, it's fill 25. So we'll go back in here and look at fill at number 25. That's fill 21. It's only $41,000. Well, we have a contract on that right now for uh, plowing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that contract. You know, because I want to make that 20, uh, that $2,000. And then once we're done with that contract, you know, that'll give us a reduction on the price of that land. Uh, so, I mean, it's it's not bad. It's only $41,000. But I still, you know, any amount I can get taken off is more money in my pocket. And I'm, I'm kind of wanting to keep my pockets full. Because a couple, you know, a couple times later, that might come back to haunt me if I don't... Uh, be a little bit frugal about that so I'm gonna go back here and get this uh, cloth and we're gonna hook up to the plow and we're gonna go take care of that field right now maybe once we're done plowing it maybe it'll give us a, uh, a contract or whatever to seed it and then we'll get another crop in the ground that way that line is going to be right there so I got to keep that in my mind that it's right there all right let's take off and 
see if we can keep from hitting the header this time. You probably noticed I readjusted that header earlier and that's probably because I was pulling out of here and tapped it with that weight. And just bumped it enough to make it crooked. <laughs> Now, I'm going on memory from the other map. I think this is the best way to go to get to that field 21. Over here to our right, that's going to be uh, one of the fields next to the show sheep farm. What in the world? I forget there's a fence right there and I just absolutely cannot see that fence. I don't, I don't know how easy it is for anybody else, but I cannot see it at all. That is the one thing I do not like about this map is, and you probably noticed on the time lapse the other day, I took out the hedgerow. There was basically like a row of bushes along that circled every single field on the map. It had no collision. I mean, there was nothing on it that caused it to really be in the way. But when it comes to visual, I just went ahead and I don't like having to look at it. And it messes me up whenever it comes to field boundaries. You know, I'm afraid I'm going to be outside of the field boundary and get stuck or whatever. So I just went through and deleted that. Okay, that was the wrong way. I should have gone down the road to the bottom. So we're going to have to come down here. But, I mean, that'll put us at the top of the field. So that's good. But, anyhow. Uh, getting rid of that head, that hedge also takes away a little bit of the European feel to me. Uh, it gives it more of an American style of feel whenever it comes to the fields. It seems like all the European maps are, there's just no room to move around on them. And for some reason, it just, with, the, with that hedge being gone right now, I just feel like I got a lot more room on this road. It's not so tight. And then it's not right up against the field. So I, you know, I like it. <laughs> I like not having the, that hedge there. All right. Looks like we had a crop that withered. Yeah, previously they had canola. Ooh. All right, I think I had it lined up. Nope, not quite, so I'm gonna readjust it here. I never looked to see if this uh, tractor had enough horsepower, but I'm pretty sure I've used this plow before on my other uh, save that I'm playing, and I don't have anything bigger than this class tractor, so I'm pretty sure everything I've got I can pull with this tractor. And we're going to hit those trees if it doesn't swing. There we go. On the other map, I was able to buy this field, and I bought it right away, and I got corn planted on it, but it's kind of surprising how every time you do a save game, every time you start a new game, it's random on what's in their fields, and so I, I like that. You can't just sit there and play the same exact way every time and get away, and get away with it. That is crazy. Our plow is wider than the field that we're working. <laughs> oh, I, I lifted it up and forgot to put it back down. I'm not ruling out the possibility of once there's enough money to do it, buying a um, bigger tractor. But with those hedgerows, or the, with that hedge that was on the map, 
you wouldn't have been able to drive a bigger tractor along these roads. They, they were just so tight. Given the fact that where we're at, this field to our left is the grass field that we're going to buy that's not numbered. I don't know if this is going to be something that we're going to pay for later, but I'm going to leave this plow. Because as soon as I'm done cutting the grass out of this uh, field to our right, which it was to our left, now it's to our right. But... I'm going to go ahead and leave this plow out here because as soon as we're done cutting the grass out of that field, in order to do precision farming on that particular field right there, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It doesn't even register as a field on precision farming. Here it does because it has grass on it, but if you turn the grass off, it just goes to a you know an empty plot. You know, as opposed to, I don't know, you turn the wheat, the wheat thing off and you see how it's brown. Well, this field here, as opposed, is completely green. It's not, I mean, it doesn't even show it having a field boundary unless you have grass selected. But if I go in and plow it, then I can select it up. So something I learned while playing the other save game I was doing and that's why I do that so that I can kind of see what the little nuances and stuff that are different to every map uh, kind of a little bit of a learning curve whenever it comes to some of these maps because they don't all operate the same way don't like running over crops that are there even though I have crop destruction off I still try to maintain the respect for the field especially if it's got tall crops like that fold that up while we're going and collecting our money for that. I mean, it's just a whole $1,300, but hey, that's $1,300 more. All right. Let's just see. Yep, right there. Canola. Hey, that's what we just took out of that field. So I'm going to accept that contract and then we'll come back and grab that here. No, I'm going to just go ahead and take this back to the field, uh, the, the shop. Look at the state of the 
look how that went from being ridged like we plowed it to being cultivated looks like it's already been cultivated and I bet it shows it's cultivated well I guess it doesn't show at least not on the deal right there maybe on here it will show cultivated is blue yep it shows cultivated It didn't let me cultivate that cheapskate. <laughs> I would have gladly done it. Oh, that was a bump. You can really tell how bumpy it is whenever you ride in the cab. I don't know what that lag is for, unless my mower is still mowing. Oh, I, <laughs> I bet I caught the edge of that fence. didn't think we were that that wide I, I mean I guess we were closer than I thought we were I can't tell is he done over there sure enough I crash up uh, whoa better stop yeah, it sure looks... Oh, there's the swather sitting right there, so I guess it is done. Well, that's good. All we gotta do now is go back there and bail it up and take it to the sell point, or the buy point. And we got that filled done. I'm going to just drop this out here because even though it wasn't that big of a uh, job, I still like to get in the habit of running it by the shop. Every time I do a con or any kind of field work, I like to take it and run it by the shop and uh, repair it before I park it. Now, on this, I think the planter I want is going to be the red one because the green one there, we, it, it takes fertilizer and being a contract job, I do not want to use fertilizer. So, plus this is a little bit smaller and that field is not that wide. But let's change that to canola, let's see right now. Are you gonna let me? Nope. I have to just. Uh, okay. Whenever I got these planters, you notice. I don't know if you were, saw in the time lapse that I did about the field, uh, the equipment move. Whenever I bought all these planters or these two planters, I've got the ones that uh, you have to change the setup on them uh, to change seed. It doesn't cost anything, but. I'm leasing it so I can't change it. Fatal flaw. I forgot about that. So I'm gonna have to buy It's not even giving me the option to buy it down here. Well, I don't understand that. Well, as you can tell, I never made it to that point in my practice run on the other uh, 
save game I was doing. Well, what am I doing? I need to get rid of this. So this is going to take a little bit of a chunk out of my uh, money. But there's no way to... Let me check something before I do that. I'll be back in just a bit. Be just a second or two for you, but it'll be just a bit. Well, I am back. I went and checked, and I do have the lease to own, or buy to own, whatever it's called, uh, mod installed, and I guess it's just not going to give me the option to buy it. I don't know if it's because I just leased it, and you got to have it for a while, or what the deal is, but I read through it, and uh, I didn't see any reason why I couldn't just buy it out right right now but it won't let me do it so i guess we're gonna go in here and let's see we got a we need a cedar and i believe it's not that one there we go the 800s i believe I don't know, maybe not. Let's keep looking. Nope, because there's the one we have now. See the seeds add-on mod. One least, yeah. So I'm pretty sure it was this one right here. Uh, that sure looks like it, but... Uh, we will change that to an S because it's a cedar. All right, and we want canola, so that's what we're getting ready to use. That's going to hurt the pocketbook, a hundred, almost a hundred and sixty thousand. But I don't really have a choice on that. I guess while we're at it, I might as well go in here and get this other one. I want the seeds add on. I don't, I don't want that one. That changes fertilizer to seed. I like having the, uh, where you have to change it every time. Alright. So that just gives it, oh, that's 200,000, wow. I mean, I don't normally do that in the past. I guess really I'm experimenting with this idea right now. So, one of the reasons why I'm doing it, uh, I might, you know, I, I've, I've not really gotten used to any certain type of play style yet, so I'm still trying to figure out what I like best. And I figured on this particular map, since our main focus is animals, uh, didn't really want to do a whole lot with the crops, but I mean, we do need crops. We gotta, I want to self-sustain the animals and so forth, but, uh, and not have to buy our own inputs, but at the same time, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to get crazy about selling and buying and I don't want greenhouses. I don't want production. I just, I want to run a dairy farm. So I thought, well, that's something maybe I can start practicing on is actually utilizing um, whoops, utilizing these cedars that you have to at least change over because uh, I do plan on using crop rotation. I don't plan on planting the same crop in, every, in each field every time. So we're going to go over here and I'm pretty sure that if the other one was like that, this one's not going to let me switch over either since it's a lease. Okay, right there. Yeah, no, we can't do anything but return. So we'll say goodbye to that planner. Okay. 
and I was just looking at the clock here and we're at the end of our day so I'm gonna go ahead and hook up to this real quick and I'm gonna run over and look Let's take a look at this. We went from 700,000 over $700,000 to 380,000. Okay, we can custom demise. Oh no, wait a minute. There we go. Customize and that's where we'll change we'll have to change the seed every time. And that's what I was looking for. But I forgot you can't do that with the least equipment. You can't customize that stuff and you have to go in there in order to change the seed type so really what's the point in even being able to lease a planter you can't customize and that was my mistake so i guess we'll call that a life lesson and uh unfortunately it was a over three hundred thousand dollar life lesson but at least it wasn't real it's just in the game <laughs> if there was a way to look at that good, give it a positive spin, I guess that would be it. We'll run over here and we'll pull up to this silo and... Open our top and then we'll go ahead and load up and boom, now we have seed. So now we're ready for the next time we get together. We'll put this over in the ready lot instead of leaving it sitting here at the silo. But anyhow, I sure appreciate you uh, coming along with me for the ride. And, you know, if you didn't know some of the stuff you just learned about just now, you, we learned together. So I appreciate it. I thank you for your support and the time that you are investing in my channel by being here to watch whenever I do this but I am virtual farmer Ken Bob and until we meet again you have a great day and stay safe out there <laughs>